crispy skin, garlicky, scallion, gingery sauce with a hint of savory notes from the soy. This is pan fried fish with soy. Hey guys, welcome to Flavor Fridays. My name is Ryan. And the first thing we're gonna do is cut some spring onion, garlic, and ginger. Basically, we're gonna cut this nice and fine because we wanna put it in the sauce for the fish. All right, next what we're gonna do is cut the fillet. This is codfish. You can use any kind of white fish, but ideally we don't want any fish to be too fatty. Since the, the fillet is relatively big, we're just gonna use half the portion. So I'm gonna cut it in half. There we go. And then just cut the tail off. <laughs> so now I'm using a filleting knife. The scoring technique is more of a French cuisine, French technique. So it's up to you if you want to do it, but this is a perfect way to make sure all the seasoning goes through and then you can pat it nice and dry to make it a crispy skin. So now what you want to do is put a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper on both sides. And then once you marinated that, we're going to add some cornstarch to make it extra dry. So when you cook it, it's going to be nice and crispy. So make sure you rub in your seasoning in so that it seeps through the meat and it also season the skin at the same time. So once you pat your fish with corn flour, now it's time to cook your fish. And what I'm using now, it's beautiful trusty frying pan. And you wanna heat that to a medium high to give it some heat. So on my induction, it will be around a seven and then wait for it to heat up. So now we're gonna put the oil on. This is very important. Make sure you have enough oil so that it actually shallow fries. And it is a way to make your fish not stink. So now what you wanna do is just shake, 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 shake for all the excess. And then the way you put your fish, you wanna put it away from you. And always put skin side down. So if you hear that sizzle, that means it's hot enough for me to put my fish. One of the ways for you to cook your fish is not to move your fish constantly. Just leave it in the pan and let it sit and give it two to three minutes. Let that skin crisp up and then we're gonna flip it. If you keep on agitating it, then your fish will stick to the pan indefinitely. So now I've been cooking this for two, three minutes even though I really want to move this fish, but I resist. So now, we're going to flip it. And voila! It didn't stick. And then we're going to cook this side for another two to three minutes or until it's fully cooked. So now, I've cooked it for another two, three minutes and it's ready to be put on the plate. So, two to three minutes may seem short on each side, but most importantly, you don't want it to be overcooked. So, when you do it two to three minutes, you let it rest for a while, it will cook in the best way ever. And now, what you wanna do is reserve this oil. If you don't want too much of a fishy flavor, that is fine, but I love this flavor. So I'm gonna use this oil to cook down my sauce. With the aromatics, you wanna put the garlic and the ginger first. So this sauce is gonna be savory and a little bit sweet at the same time. Make sure you don't wanna burn your garlic and ginger, just lightly cook it till it's translucent. Once you reach to this stage, you can add all your liquids in tablespoon of soy sauce with some water and sugar to balance the umami flavor. Mix that in and let it reduce. So now what you want to do is add your spring onions in your sauce. Mix that for a quick 5 to 10 seconds and you can see that the sauce is nice and a little bit syrupy and that's what we want. And then, the magic happens. We're gonna pour this sauce onto the fish. And that's how you cook a perfect fish. So now it's time to taste. All right, let's check. Ooh, look at that. 
nice and flaky bit of everything mmm mmm so the skin is nice and crispy and then the fish is so moist it's not overcooked it's not dry and then the sauce that is just like the perfect liquid gold so it's just ginger spring onion garlic infused with soy sauce and a hint of sweetness from the sugar oh that is match made in heaven thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the recipe let us know at the comments below if these tips and techniques helped you perfect cooking the fish and of course see you next time